You're watching Adorama TV. Hey everybody, welcome to Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, this week we're going to be talking about two different mat boxes that you can use. On um, this one here, this is a, a Genesis mat box. It's made specifically for a DSLR. It's got a whole rig and a riser and everything. And on this, this side, we have a Red Rock Micro uh, macro mat box deluxe bundle and the nice thing about this mat box is that you can use it with a DSLR rig like this one or you can use it with a normal video camera so it's it's a lot of uh, a lot of options with this guy right here so I want to first talk about this guy this is the Genesis um, wide angle mat box kit with this this is called the nun knickers what the nun knickers do is to make sure that you have it uh, perfectly seated on your lens so the Genesis mat box has a French flag that allows you to make sure that you keep uh, light coming straight in on your lens. It has two filter holders, so you can uh, put those on there. These filter holders also allow you to uh, rotate the filters here. Um, only on the back one though. So the front one is only, uh, it's stationary. So you can put a filter in there. You can uh, put it at different heights. The back one rotates. Now one of the disadvantages of this uh, mat box is you can't really lock this back rotating one in place. And so that's something I think is an oversight that really needs to be fixed with this mat box. Now the other thing that this comes with with this kit is this uh, riser. And what that does is it uh, puts your camera up high enough uh, so that you can put a mat box on the front, you can move it left and right, up and down, and back and forth. So you can really make sure, depending on the lens that you have and the camera body you have, that it mats perfectly with your mat box. Um, and this mat box will just come right off the front here, um, and then you can see this, uh, what they call the nun knickers, and that will make sure that it's a really nice tight fit. Now you can um, get this with different rings to match your different lens sizes, or you can just get this, which is sort of a universal fit, and you can see that here are the rods that allow you to do things. Now this is really nice because you get the rods. Uh, the thing I, uh, also another disadvantage with this kit is there's no way to add weight on the back of your camera. So once you put this on the front, even though it's pretty lightweight, um, it's really not expandable in any way. So I'll put this back on here. Um, so normally what I like to do is if I have an audio rig or something that's uh, you know really um, heavy on the front, I want to put something on the back. Well, you can't do that with this one. The other thing that I found with this kit that was something I didn't like was that to uh, securely fasten your camera, there's this little uh, nut on the bottom that you have to tighten by hand. And it's really hard to get your fingers in there to make sure you have a really nice tight fit. And so the camera has a tendency to sort of move around a little bit on this riser. So uh, this is a, a nice um, kit. Um, if you're just looking to put on a matte box, but I don't recommend it if you're trying to upgrade your DSLR kit with a follow focus or some other accessories as well. So um, this is a, a kit, but you'll see that this one is almost the exact same price. There's only a $20 difference really in price from this to the Red Rock Micro. Um, and this is a Red Rock Micro, Micro Matte Box Deluxe Bundle. And so what you get with this one is, um, you know, we've got this fully rigged out with the Zacuto rails. And you, the, the disadvantage is this comes with rails. This does not. You have to actually buy rails to put on your camera. Um, and so this mounts to those rails. And once you have it on there, this kit comes with a, uh, a French flag. This is the flag on the top. It comes with the sideburns, which are these guys on the side that allow you to keep light coming from the sides. It also has a two-stage uh, filter holder. So it's got two filter holders. And these are standard 4x4 filter holders um, that allow you to put neutral density filters or um, any kind of filter that you want to put in there. And then both of these um, rotate, and they rotate independent of each other, which is really, really nice. And then the other thing is you can actually lock those into place. You can move these up and down and then lock those into place as well. So um, it's very, very flexible with the filters that you can put in the front. Now, it doesn't have the nun knickers on the back, uh, but what you do have are different... Um, uh, donuts, different size uh, inserts that keep the lens and the matte box nice and tight so no light is coming in there, which is really, really nice. Now the other thing I like about this kit is it's a swing away matte box. In other words, if I want to change something on my lens, I uh, clean it, maybe put on a lens cap, um, change out lenses on my camera, instead of having to remove the entire matte box, there's a little uh, 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 gadget right here. I pull that up and then this whole thing just swings away. So I can open that up just like that. I can do any kind of adjustments. And here's that donut I was talking about that goes right in here. Um, and then once I have all of my uh, gear adjusted, well, then I can just pull this up again. 
swings right back into place. So it's really, really fast and easy to make adjustments to the camera, the lens, whatever, on the fly. So I really recommend this one. This is the one that we use, actually, this micro matte box. We use this on our video cameras when we're shooting outside. We've used it on DSLR rigs. Um, and this kit here is made specifically for video cameras and DSLRs. They do have a version for the RED, so if you have a RED camera and you're shooting, the RED Rock Micro uh, company has a RED micro uh, matte box just specifically built for RED, which is really, really nice, and it's really, really high quality. So for the price between these two kits, if you're just looking for a matte box uh, to put on a DSLR, this is a nice solution. But I recommend the Red Rock Micro over this because it's much more expandable. It will last a little bit longer. It's built a little bit nicer. And some of the things that uh, I didn't like about this, specifically the locking mechanism, the size of the filter holders, it's all corrected in this one. So I give my win to the Red Rock Micro Micro Matte Box Deluxe Bundle. That's what I recommend. I think that's what you should buy. Well, that's all we have time for this week. Remember, if you have questions about photography, photography related gear, videography, shooting at the DSLR, whatever, you can send those questions to me at askmark at adorama.com. Thanks for joining us, and I'll see you next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.